da da do da 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 Welcome to my channel Crafting Mat. This is the Snapmaker standard solution to feed filament to the printer through the housing. The filament has a long way to travel to the extruder. Also, an inconsistent amount of friction is added because the filament has to pass the hole in the side and change direction twice. That in turn can lead to occasional under extrusion on your prints. I think I came up with a better solution. And this is it. I am using a Sunlu filler dryer S2, which I have modded to feed filament to the bottom. There is another video on my channel showing how to do that. The filament will exit through the bottom of the filament dryer and enter the housing from the top. I drilled a 4 mm hole for that purpose. Now the filament enters the housing at a nearly ideal position. This is reducing the friction significantly and the friction is more constant compared to the original solution. The bridge is meant as a stand for a Sandlu S2 filament dryer. Therefore, the model has some holes for the feet of that device. There is also a hole for the 4 mm Bowden tube. Now you can dry your filament before you print or you dry and print the same time. The second part of the bridge has a hole for a USB hub. I will link the hub I used down below. You can route the USB cable in the housing so you do not have to open the side door anymore if you want to update the pen drive with new G code. You may already have seen the two holes on the side of the first and the second part of the bridge. As you can see here, I used those to stick two rods in it to create a stable connection. The rods have 8 mm diameter and 150 mm in length. The bridge can be fixed to the housing by using the standard mounting holes for the top side. Of course, you need slightly longer screws to do that. All parts have been printed on the Snapmaker 2.0 using PLA. If you are using the double extruder, you could print the Sunlu stand part twice and place two Sunlus on top of the bridge. The display of the right device would face backwards in that case, but in my point of view this is still much better than dealing with the original solution and issues with wet filament. The bridge was designed for the housing of the larger Snapmaker 2.0350. I am not sure if a housing for the smaller 250 version is existing, but if you have such and want this to be available also for your Snapmaker, send me a comment with the distance between the screws left to right and I will modify the USB part of the bridge accordingly. If you like this video, give me a like and feel free to comment down below. As always, stay safe and maybe we see you in another video. Bye bye!